this is Britt Caswell with another example video. In this video, I'm covering example 2 from section 3-3 in the Savas Realize Algebra 2 textbook. So in this example, we are using polynomial identify, uh, identities to multiply. Now, this set of problems is kind of quirky. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it, how the book intends on it. But we don't tend to to multiply as much. Like this this first one, letter A, yeah, we 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 do that fairly regularly. But like B, using it to multiply two numbers, I've never seen that done before. So I'm going to show you how to do it. But just understand that's not the usual. It's kind of irregular. So what I've done is on the side here in black, I have written down the various. Um, identities that they're using. So here we have two two values that are added together and we're squaring them. So this is called a perfect square trinomial. If ever you're looking it up again. And so what I can do is I could say well my a value is 2x squared and my b value is y cubed and so I can use this formula a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and I can I can come across the same solution I would get if I were to try to foil this out all right so the first part is a squared so I'm gonna have 2x squared squared and then it says plus 2 times a times b and then plus b squared. So I'm just filling in my a's and b's. So here my a is 2x squared, my b is y cubed, and my b is y cubed. And so once I plug into that formula, I could just go ahead and, and multiply the stuff out. So if I square this, 2 squared is 4, and x squared squared is x to the fourth plus 2 times 2 is 4 x squared y cubed and then here y cubed squared is y to the sixth so it, it does make it multiply uh, fairly quickly if you know the formula and have it memorized and think to use it but you could also get that by writing this expression out twice and just um, just distributing. Now this one I actually had to look up because I was like, what are they getting at? <laughs> so what this 41 and this 39 are is the, they are this part of the formula. This is called the difference of squares. And I didn't even recognize it until I looked it up in the book. So what they're saying here, well, 41 is the same thing as 40 plus 1. And 39 is 40 minus 1. So you could find that middle, middle ground and then say what the difference is. And so if I could think about it this way, when I multiply those together, my a value here is 40 and my b value is 1. So if I wanted to, to do this using mental math, I could use the fact that this is equal to a squared minus b squared. So I could take my a and square it, and I could take my b and square it, and then actually do the subtraction. So I'm going to plug in my 40 and my 1. So 40 squared is 1600, and 1 squared is 1. So the answer to this is 1599. Um, this isn't something I would normally do, though. I would just plop that into a calculator. So it's it's interesting to see how they're applying the formula, right? Recognizing that, well, these are both one away from a certain number. And the, the math is mental math there, right? It's, it's different. So now this one, these ones are conjugates, right? 
it's the same expression, one with plus, one with minus. That's why I knew it was a difference of squares. And so what's nice about this is your a value here is 3x squared and your b value is 5y, cu 5y cubed. And so this expression simplifies into a squared minus b squared. And that's really, really a fast thing to, to simplify. So I plug in my a and b. So this turns into 9x to the fourth. And this turns into 25y to the 6th. And so that made for very quick multiplication. So if you see those complex conjugates, remember, you could just square the first one, put a minus, and then square the second one, and you're good to go. Now again, this one's weird. All right, so this one's going to be following the, um, this is a perfect square trinomial pattern. And I don't think that it's going to be easier than, um, I don't think it'll be easier than just adding those together and squaring it. But you know what? We'll, we'll do it. All right, so my A is 12 and my B is 15. And so I'm just going to use this formula. A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. So where my a's are, I'm plugging in a 12. Where my b's are, I plug in 15. Now 12 squared, that's 144. And then here, uh, 2 times 15 is 30. Times 12 is 360. And then 15 squared is 225. Uh, I'm just double checking that. <laughs> yeah, 225. So then I could add those together. Um, 225 and 360 makes 585. Plus 144 is uh, 729. Um, so that's kind of how to use the identities. Like I said, I'm, I wouldn't really use these for these purposes, but all right. Um, these ones here, that's quicker math. So I would definitely be able to recognize a conjugate and that you square the first and then square the second and subtract them. And um, here, if you remember the formula, it does make for quicker multiplication. But distributing is probably just as fast there. But there it is. That's how you use polynomial identities to multiply. Until next time.